good afternoon. My name is Uriah. I'm the head of EMEA Customer Success at Canada. My name is Michael. I'm the Senior DevOps Manager for Global E-Commerce at Puma. And we're here to share our experience of uh, detecting incidents fast using an AI business monitoring tool that was built by Anadot. So Puma has about 45 owned and operated e-commerce websites around the world. And I'm responsible for providing the tools that our software developers and operations teams use to develop and run those websites. And these sites are quite a heterogeneous group because some of them are big and busy and some of them are small and sleepy. And on the big sites, the cost of downtime runs into tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars per hour. And on the small sites, uh, they could go down for the entire weekend. And at least in the olden days, no one would notice. <laughs> so Puma's invested millions of dollars into marketing to drive people to these sites and into the user experience to make sure that when people land on these sites, they are driven towards that all-important step in e-commerce, which is the checkout page. So it's very embarrassing when our coworkers come to us and inform us that Add to Cart has been broken on the Europe site for the last two hours, or the US site hasn't taken any orders all night because of a problem with the inventory service. And so we really wanted to put an end to that kind of thing. And we always wanted to be the first to know about these incidents before our coworkers and customers came knocking to tell us about them. But in order to do that, we needed a solution that could watch over this large and diverse group of sites and um, catch those, those unknown unknowns that we weren't specifically monitoring for. And using regular BI dashboards and Power BI or alerts with static thresholds just really wasn't cutting it because we needed to know what the definition of, uh, of normal was, and that might be different on one site um, compared to another site. So that's where Anadoc comes in. Sorry. <clears throat> so Anadot supports many e-commerce players in their efforts to optimize activity by providing an AI-based monitoring that acts as a set of bionic eyes on your business critical KPIs, including sites, APIs, traffic, add to carts, logins, purchases, and any type of action a user can take on a website. We are here to share some of the use cases Anadot and Puma have worked on together. So this is an example of one of those things that uh, we were embarrassed to not find out about sooner in the past. Uh, one day we discovered that gift card processing in Switzerland had been broken for about two weeks. And this was hard to notice because the Europe site, which Switzerland is a part of, spans across many countries. And the Europe site as a whole was still getting um, gift card orders. And while I would like to tell you that we have very uh, comprehensive and specific error logging of everything that can possibly go wrong with a gift card uh, order, that's often not the case in practice. Um, so this is exactly the kind of thing that Anadot is good for, because um, if we take some basic measures and dimensions, like the number of orders, and then we have uh, payment methods and countries as dimensions, uh, we can spot these kinds of anomalies automatically without having to stare at a dashboard for every single site every day. Now, let me show you how it would have been handled with Anadot. So first, real time. Michael gets a real time alert from the first abnormal data point. Second, dimensions. When we set up a client, we consider all the different dimensions of the business operations, such as countries, currencies, payment methods, pins, zip code, and more. 
So we specifically measure those dimensions. You can even group a few strategic dimensions together to get a better visibility on high priority matters. And third is investigation. So let's, uh, uh, I want to show you, oh, sorry, it doesn't work. Sorry. So let me show you how, how it actually goes. We get an alert. This is my email, uh, by, mm -hmm. for example. And we got an alert that there is a, a drop in revenue for Switzerland. We see a drop of 300% in revenue in Switzerland, payment method gift card. I can see the metric. I can see the, the drop. But what, what really happened? What, what, what is the root cause? So I'll go to the UI itself, and I'll see that this is the alert that we were talking about. I can see the negative impact it had on the business. This is the amount. But as you can see, I can see in all these details in full, but it's not enough. What is the root cause? So when I'll go to the triage, I can clearly see what happened, where did it happen, and why did it happen. As you can see, Anadot discovered a correlation between the drop in revenue to an API or KPI. We also saw, the Anadot saw, uh, it's not me, but <laughs> Anadot saw another three incidents that happened at the same time here in Japan, in Poland, and France. This is the, the red one is uh, Switzerland. So when I'm going to the correlations, I can see four different metrics. Three of them are increases in revenue, as you can see, for France, Poland, and Japan. All three was increase in payment method gift card. So the volumes increased in those three countries, negating the drop in volume for Switzerland in such a way that uh, the gift card drop was invisible on Puma's dashboard. The fourth metric that we see is API error. It's also a spike. You can see that there was more API errors with gift API in Switzerland. So this way, we can easily see what the problem is. Sorry. Now, I'm very happy to tell you that there are a lot of fraudsters and resellers who want our shoes out there. And in some respects, this is a good thing, because if you're in the shoe game and people are not trying to snap up your latest drops with shoe bots, then you must not be a very hot brand. So I would rather have this problem than not have it. But like any retailer, we would prefer that our product end up in the hands of uh, real customers who are loyal to the brand and not just uh, resellers who are trying to profit over the top. And like any other retailer, we use a variety of solutions to ensure this. We have fraud detection solutions, we have bot blocking solutions. Um, those are all out of scope for this presentation, but we've found that Anadoc can also be helpful in spotting this nefarious activity on the site. And um, a good example of this would be, we've seen carding attacks on the site where someone will place a huge number of uh, failed orders, just probably going down a list of cards that they've bought, trying to find the cards that work. And um, in a classic, sort of blind spot example, uh, in the past, the operations teams for these sites would look at their Power BI dashboards in order to see what was happening on the site. But of course, only information about successful orders gets exported to those Power BI dashboards. So there would be enormous volumes of um, failed orders that would come in and surge, and they would be invisible to these operations teams. But if we can get information about the number of orders and their order status into Anadot, we can see these big surges come rolling in, and then we can take action in order to ban the actor responsible. Let me be clear. Anadot is not a fraud prevention tool. Rather, we use it as a tool for fraud teams to be able to strongly indicate concerning trends when they just begin and connect them to relevant movements for better swift detection. When we monitor, we can relate a certain ratio between different measures and see how it impacts the business. So the ratio <coughs> sorry, between a spike in failed attempts to a drop in approved transactions can teach us a lot, especially if we are relate 
to a specific metric such as, as bin, country, product category, etc. This way, you will be able to get a full detailed alert telling you there's a fraud attempt in country X, payment method Y in website Z. Without Autodot, you would never been you would never guess that you are under attack. Let's hope it, it never <laughs> happened to anyone. To conclude, there are a few things. Sorry. To conclude, there are a few things that we wanted to share with you. Important thing that we've learned, working together, and thought you might like to hear about. Data analysis and insights should be available to everyone, in all hats. Sharing our insights and alerts with account executives, operations, finance, and other business-oriented teams increases efficiency within the staff and shorten time to detection. By allowing these teams autonomous detection and, inves and investigation, custom made to their own KPI. So another thing we found is that it's hard to alert on the absence of something, uh, especially if you're using static thresholds. So for example, how long is too long since your last successful order? Um, automatically learning what is normal allows you to answer this question across uh, many different sites that uh, have different normal baselines. You don't need millions of metrics to monitor your core business. Built right, 10 measures and a dozen dimensions would probably help you identify 99% of the incidents. And the measures and dimensions that you bring into this platform should really be aligned with the most important business KPIs that you have. One thing that I like about Anadot is that it directly measures uh, metrics that matter to us, like revenue. Um, so you can very clearly see the impact of issues that it detects, and you only get alerted when there's a problem that's actually uh, impacting those business KPIs, because these modern distributed systems, they're throwing errors all the time. Um, a lot of those don't actually result in any kind of business impact. So if we can monitor uh, the business KPIs directly with Anadot, then we only get alerted when there's something that's really causing problems for us. Last one is measure the impact. Make sure you're monitoring business and not just technical stuff. Modern distributed systems are throwing errors all the time, but the business impact is often minimal or non-existent. Now, last question. I won't ask you to stand up again, but never have you ever learned so much in 15 minutes than you did today. <laughs> I hope. Thank you, everyone. We hope we managed to share some of our experience with you guys. My colleague, Neil. Neil, hi, can you please stand up for a second? Uh, and I are here if you want to talk uh, more about checkout optimization. I uh, personally thank you very much. <laughs>